Well, what do y'all think about this whole situation before we really get started? This might be the, I guess, the uh, the layup line topic. What about this whole thing with Kendrick Perkins and, and LeBron James? You know, we spoke on this briefly, really, when it happened in real time. But then it took a lot of headlines from the mainstream media in the last couple of days. Like they've made a story out of it. And we've seen Kendrick respond. We've seen Kevin Durant kind of get involved in this mix. What do y'all think about Kendrick Perkins and, and this LeBron James unfollowing saga? You want to talk your ish, Hank? Well, what, what before we get into it, what did, what did K, KD get into it about? Because I didn't see that one. Basically, it was on a social media post and Kendrick Perkins was saying that even Jesus got crucified or something like that. And KD right. reposted it like you you're not Jesus, bro, or something like that, like something of that nature. I don't want to, I can't quote the tweet, but yeah. you know how KD is the, is the man on, on Twitter. Like, well, they didn't got into it too. So, you know, yeah, that's, yeah. that's just being petty. He done sold this boy out before. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess it's kind of similar. Maybe that's why KD uh, got into it because, you know, um, LeBron ain't used to Kendrick saying bad things about him and his family. So, when he started going against the family, LeBron's like, nah, you done. And dropped them off, you know, say, I'm unfollowing you. They had Rich Paul call him instead of him calling him. So, yeah, I, I just, I think he just didn't like what uh, Kendrick was going in the media space. And uh, what's his name? Richard Jefferson said, hey, this is the modern day Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley. <laughs> <laughs> That's so disrespectful to put Kendrick Perkins on the level of Charles Barkley, number one. Let's, let's start there. Thanks. But 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 B A, check this out. Like, I mean, what's your take on this, man? I, I I'm a little bit speechless. What's what's your? Yeah, I I think LeBron is. I, I I you know my take, man. I think LeBron is in his feelings, and um, it, like if we are if we are friends or whatnot, and you do have an issue with something that I did say. I mean, you definitely can call me personally uh, to have multiple middlemen through your uh, through clutch sports c contact me uh, just to tell me, uh, don't talk about this or don't say this and don't say that. <laughs> I think that's out of line, bro. Especially if we like, like that's to me. Yeah, yeah. LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James. <laughs> Man, I'm just saying yeah, you you ain't like that middleman that 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 Rich yeah. Paul message. You ain't like that, huh? Seven, My seven, family. seven. If you, like when this channel blow up to be what it is, right? And then I go to another platform and I say something and and it offends you, but I don't I don't think it's offending you or whatnot. And you mad at me? I don't want you to send Hank. I don't want you to send Cole. I want you to hit me up and be like, "Ba, come on, man, We're boys, bro." Like I didn't like that. And then guess what I'm gonna do? I'll be like, <laughs> I'll be like, my bad. I take that back. And then and then and then we move on from there. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, when I found out that LeBron used a messenger to <laughs> relay a message, that was kind of crazy. But let me ask you a question, bro. Like, why does Kendrick? feel the need because they got history like for years i'm not gonna say they have the the best their best friends but they have a history but why does it feel like kendrick is forcing himself to criticize and judge lebron he kind of like, why i kind of answered it on that podcast i watched with Jeff richard jefferson what is it uh what's they called um he got he he already had it but he's with jj now he probably jj but anyhow, um, he went on there and said that basically he's got to say, be objective about Braun because he could lose his job. He said that basically pretty much in that episode that they'll they'll put him on a chopping block if he just says all praises about him. I don't, I don't know. I don't know about. I don't know about all of that because <laughs> ESPN be glazing LeBron. We <laughs> they do. That. They, they do. Lazy. Um, uh, really? They do. They be glazing, bro. The only person that's that halfway steps out halfway is uh is, is Stephen A. Smith. He he a hater. He a LeBron hater for real. No, nah, he, he can't. I don't think he's. I don't think he like LeBron for real. Hey, hey, that's what I'm saying. He low key like me. At least I'm open. I be like, man, I don't lie. Uh, uh, uh. So, 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 fellas. We're talking about a guy who has been in the NBA. Basketball has been his life. He's been in the NBA, played in the NBA. I'm pretty sure he, Kendrick Perkins should have made millions in the NBA. 
Definitely. He's an NBA champion. Mm-hmm. You mean to tell me that at this point in the game, he got a network like he his life is is riding on this ESPN job where though they can silence him and tell him how to really talk. Nah, to nah. me that's crazy. He being honest, man. Like I don't no. know. Like like he's been like I can't knock him for his opinion. All he said was, "Oh, LeBron is trying to get it. He's trying to get the light. He's trying to get the get the light or whatnot." uh from from the moment and that's what lebron does and he just and that's all he said that way it wasn't that wasn't super crazy or belligerent like he was really talking down on his son his family and i he ain't do all of that all he said this is a lebron this is a repeat offender this is this is kendrick perkins we talking about and let me ask you this because hank if he wouldn't have said this you think kendrick perkins would have lost his job I don't know. It's the way you got to watch that, that episode. I think what he, way he was describing was like he's got to he's got to give his true opinion and not feel like he's glazing all the time because he just feel like he'll be on the chop. But but, but but when has there ever been a narrative, a real one, that people were upset with the way Kendrick Perkins does his job for praising LeBron? I don't know. So yeah. that's that's bogus to me. Yeah. That's that that to me. You know what I feel like this is. And we've seen it with other people like Stephen A. Smith, ESPN, the network, you know, they have their agenda Mm -hmm. and they tell these guys what they need to do and how they need to do it. But of course, you know, they have PRs and and publicists and like they know how to butter things up. So that's the excuse that they will lay out for him to use. But, bro, nobody has ever felt like Kendrick has been super biased to LeBron in his job, that it's a problem. I've heard the I heard the opinion before. We've heard the opinion before, yeah. But no, it hasn't been like a problem, like where people are like, man, yo, you gotta fire him, like, or people coming down on ESPN, bro. I think this is him f- trying to force his way into the media realm, like a Stephen A. Smith with that shock value, because Kendrick Perkins has been on TV for a minute. Do y'all learn anything basketball wise from Kendrick Perkins? Keep it real. Every yeah. once in a while, he does give like knowledge-based uh teaches but he mostly does you know the topic stuff like honestly i'm gonna keep it 100 i don't learn anything from him but i am very entertained i like a lot of his sayings it's like uh he yeah, do. he reminds me of like Stuart scott with some of the uh terms term the terminology mm-hmm. he used and the, the statements he say which is dope i'm like oh man that was actually pretty dope man i like that but outside of that no um he's just a big teddy bear that uh, malika andrews likes to pick on you know, I just feel like guys have opportunities, and I understand this opportunity with ESPN is great. You know, I don't know what the specifics is behind it, so I don't want to downplay it. Um, even though he's a, a millionaire already, or at least should be, you know, it's just kind of it's just kind of sad to me, man. It's just like, bro, he feels like okay, in order for me to be respected in this game, because everybody knows I'm friends with LeBron, I need to be real extra critical to show the people that I'm not biased. Like, bro, who's forcing you to do that? And the way in the way you're doing it, we watched him do it to Kevin Durant. Like he's violating the people that helped him get to who he like. These guys he helped really him be. Violating, cool. though? Is he really violating? Is that that's not yeah. a violation? He's giving, I his he's giving his opinion. That's all. Mm-hmm. He's not talking. He said he's he countless on on um, countless moments. Right. He's always said LeBron is the greatest basketball player to ever play. I want him to retire so he can do this. Kevin Durant, yeah, one of the right. greatest scores that I've ever seen in my life. He's he gives that like he he gives that. Um, he, get, he he puts out that narrative all the time, but in between there, when he sees something that he th- is off, he speaks on it, and I don't think anything wrong now, with that. Now, what he did say, Seven, is that he's still going to call LeBron the greatest of all time. He said that, too. It's Road Tripping is the name of the podcast. Yeah. Um, but he said that um, he's still going to call LeBron the greatest. He said that has nothing to do with his opinion on that. It's just he feels when he needs to give his authentic thoughts, he's going to do it. This is the Lake of Land podcast. We got seven BA and Hank in the building. Shout out to Cole, man. Cole is out on low management handling his nine to five, but he will be back in the building with us hopefully next week. I spoke to him earlier. 
we chopping it up talking about Kendrick Perkins, LeBron James, the whole unfollowing on Twitter saga. I mean, you guys are right. I'm not, I can't really disagree with anything you guys are saying about Kendrick Perkins. I guess just to me personally, the 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 disappointing thing about it is a lot of his takes are similar to the shock value takes of Stephen A and some of these other guys. And I would just think that a guy that who has had relationships with Kevin Durant, LeBron James, not that he can't be honest, but we would get a different perspective because he has a relationship and a history with these guys that Stephen A don't. So it's like you would know some inner things and reasons why some things move the way they do that Stephen A wouldn't because he he don't have no personal history. You've really been in locker rooms with these guys. So I would expect KP to have a different approach and, and a delivery with his coverage than someone who not involved. So that's what disappoints me the most. So, so what I truly think is we know sometimes through time, people grow apart. Right. And I think Thanks. that this is, I think, it, I think that he's probably been trying to get in touch with LeBron talk about certain things similar with KD and then and this is this is this is uh this is this is a possibility I'm not saying that this is true this is fact or anything but it's possible that he's been trying to get in touch with LeBron for a while and been trying to connect with LeBron for a while but has not been able to because LeBron has either been busy or LeBron has been sending middlemen to him in general and they not as close as they used to be and he probably low key internally feels a certain type of way about that, but of course he's never going to say that publicly. It sounds like you feel a certain type of way about this middleman thing. You keep bringing that up. I swear, yeah, you I keep can't. I, I, LeBron, I, low key. I'm I don't like. It. I don't like it. I don't. I don't like it, bro. And it does. It is kind of a pet peeve, and it does, it is kind of like a trigger to me. Um, just when uh, like if. It's different if we if we cool and I don't I never really rock with you like that or we were cordial and all of that you got middlemen or whatnot a business and all but when you if if I feel like you're my friend like my actual friend I don't need no middlemen. No, I agree. I agree. I agree. For the latest and greatest on your Los Angeles Lakers, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers and we appreciate the support. Follow us on social media at Lakerland Show and join our Playback TV room for our free VIP access to our Lakers watch parties and, of course, the Lakerland podcast. That's playback.tv slash Lakerland.